In game theory, a subgame is a subset of any game that includes an initial node, which has to be independent from any information set, and all its successor nodes. It's quite easy to understand how subgames work using the extensive form when describing the game. In this game tree, there are six separate subgames. Other than the game itself, we have two main subgames, which in turn contain two more subgames each. When dealing with sequential games other than the equilibrium for the main game, we can also look for an equilibrium in each of its subgames. Let's see an example. In this game, we have two players, player 1 and player 2. Player 1 has to decide between going up or down, while player 2 has to decide between going left or right. We can use the extensive form to represent this game. Player 1, who plays first, has to decide whether going up or down. After player 1 decides what to do, it's the turn of player 2, who can either go right or left. Final outcomes are represented at the end of each final branch. For example, the outcome that results from the combination up-left will have a payoff of 2 for player 1 and a payoff of 5 for player 2. Let's say the final payoffs for each outcome are as follows. 5, 2, 0, 0, and 3, 1. It is important to remember that the first payoff corresponds to player 1 and the second to player 2. We can also represent the game using the strategic form. Rows represent player 1's strategies, up and down, while columns correspond to player 2's strategies, right and left. If player 1 goes up and player 2 goes right, final payoffs equal are 5-2. Using this same procedure, we are able to fill out the entire matrix. Let's look for the Nash equilibrium of this game. Player 1 knows that player 2 will rather go left, since his expected payoff would be greater. Therefore, player 1 chooses to go up, since this will derive in a higher payoff. Player 2 knows that player 1 will rather go up, since his expected payoff would be greater. Therefore, player 2 chooses to go left, since this will derive in a higher payoff. Therefore, we find that up left is a Nash equilibrium since going up is the best strategy player 1 can choose, and going left is the best strategy for player 2 considering the other player's strategy. However, since this is a sequential game, this is not a perfect equilibrium. In order to find the subgame perfect equilibrium, we must do a backwards induction, starting at the last move of the game, then proceed to the second to last move, and so on. In this particular case, we know that player 2 will choose left if player 1 goes up, and right if player 1 goes down, since these are the moves that maximize player 2's payoff. Because there is complete information and therefore each player's payoffs are known, player 1 knows these choices in advance, and will therefore choose to go down, because his final payoff will be greater. Therefore, downright is the perfect subgame equilibrium. Subgames are of special importance when analyzing repeated games also known as supergames, since repetition is easier to analyze using a game tree with multiple branches.